I'm Doug, and you guys know me from doing a lot of diving and searching for lost loved ones and working with families all across the nation. Well, recently, a big sponsor of mine helping me help families in law enforcement has been Channel Master. And not only have they been a sponsor for me, but also, you guys have saved me a ton of money. $200 in subscriptions that I used to have, no more, out the window. We're gonna walk you through exactly how to set this up, all on your own, super easy, and it's gonna give you free, crisp, high definition television, no more subscriptions, monthly going down the drain. This is a one-time installation, one-time purchase that's gonna save you thousands of dollars a year. The first thing that you wanna do prior to setting up your install is determining where it's gonna be installed. That's very important. You wanna direct line of sight to your nearest broadcast tower. And how are you gonna do that? You're gonna download the Channel Master app that's gonna give you direct line of sight to the nearest broadcast tower and where you mount the antenna at is where you're gonna want that to be with direct line of sight to the broadcast tower with no interruptions whatsoever and you're gonna get the maximum performance out of your antenna. So right now we're located in the southeastern point of the Phoenix area and it's giving us a direct line of sight to this tower here. So we know on this property, the antenna is gonna to wanna to be facing that way. In some locations, you're gonna have multiple broadcast towers, but being as though we're closer to the Phoenix area, we wanna use that broadcast tower. You see that here, there's multiple broadcast towers. There's one down in Tucson, which is about 30, 40 miles away. We wanna make sure that we're lined up with the broadcast tower nearest the location of the install, which is this one right here in West Phoenix. And aligning the antenna on this property in that direction with direct line of sight is gonna give you peak performance out of your antenna once you install it. The next most important step is gonna be identifying where you're gonna run your coax cable off your antenna and into the house. How are you gonna get the cable into your house? Most of you who are watching this, you have homes that have been pre-wired with coax cable and distributes it throughout the house. So you need to find the hookup on the outside of the house. It's literally one plug that powers your whole house with high definition television directly from your antenna. And I can show you right here where it is and how easy it is to locate that. You wanna find where your cable is coming into the house at and here, We've identified the Cox box in your area, maybe a different company, Comcast or whoever it may be, and we've identified one single coax cable connection that runs into the house, and from there, it's wired to every room already. So we need to run our antenna directly into here. This is gonna be our main hookup to disperse this antenna throughout the entire house. So we've already identified where we're gonna locate the antenna, why we're gonna locate it there, and now that we've identified also where the antenna is gonna run into the house, now we have to figure out how we're gonna get the coax cable from the antenna down to here. And it's pretty simple. As you guys see, this back corner of the house is where the antenna is gonna be. We're gonna run the coax cable under the lip of the roof here, out of sight, straight down the wall into this box, and it's as simple as that. Now that we're beginning the installation on putting the antenna above the roof, it's really important for you to identify a firm foundation to put that mount on. And when it comes to identifying a firm source to mount this on, it doesn't have to be perfect because this mount is adjustable in three different ways that will compensate for different angles that you're mounting it on. Here you can see we're using the awning of the roof just below the tile and it's at an angle, but this will allow us to adjust this way, but also pivot the mount that way as well, which will compensate for the angle of roof there. the coax cable that we're gonna run from the antenna directly into the side of the house is pretty much plug and play. If you put together Legos, you have the ability to do this as well.
like we started off saying, the most important part of setting your antenna up in the correct location is determining where your broadcast tower is. And it's really easy to do on the Channel Master app. You can take it and turn it. And as I see right now on the app, the way we have this positioned is directly to our broadcast tower. And if you're unable to download the Channel Master app on your Apple phone, you can also use the website. In the website, you can put in your address and it'll tell you exactly the way your antenna needs to be facing. Now that you have your antenna installed, you're ready to set your coax cable running from your antenna to the entry point into the house we've previously identified. And the importance here is to make sure that you're using quality coax cable. The cabling that you use will determine the performance of the antenna. You can have the best antenna in the world, but if you're using garbage, foreign, cheap made coax cable and connectors, you're gonna limit the performance of your antenna. Here we're using Channel Master patented coax cable and connectors that don't need a weather boot. It comes with a patented system within this that is designed to weather the elements through all of the temperature cycles because this is gonna be exposed to the elements. So don't use the cheap stuff, get something that's gonna last and also offer you a completely better antenna experience. Just like that, it is that easy. This concludes our entire outdoor install of the Pro Model Channel Master antenna.